On behalf of the Toronto Police Services Board, I'm pleased to be part of this important video today as we celebrate this year's 2022 Asian Heritage Month. This is an opportunity for the Board and Service to come together to pay tribute to the contributions of the Asian communities of Toronto and to renew our pledge to build and fortify our ever-important partnerships. We continue to focus on connecting with the public, consistently looking for ways to meaningfully incorporate the voices of the public into our policy-making and decision-making process. We'd like to recognize the members of the Asian communities who work with us to bridge any gaps that may exist so we can create objectives and expectations together. Unfortunately, we know that the incidence of hate crimes against Asian residents continues to be troubling. We want you to know that the Board is committed to supporting you, and we stand with you, working in a concerted and meaningful partnership to eradicate hate in all of its forms. As we commemorate Asian Heritage Month, we celebrate, we pay tribute, and we look forward to continued and sustained partnership. Thank you. On behalf of the Toronto Police Service, I am pleased to celebrate Asian Heritage Month, now in its 20th year. This month is a time to reflect on the legacy and achievements of Asian Canadians and to recognize the vital and unique contributions they have made and continue to make in our city. This year's theme, Continuing a Legacy of Greatness, is a reminder to explore the culture, heritage and history of Toronto's many Asian communities. This month is also a reminder that we must remain steadfast in the fight against racism and inequality. Like many cities, Toronto has experienced a spike in reported hate crimes over the last several years. In 2021, there was a 22% increase in hate-motivated occurrences from the year before. Toronto's Asian communities were some of the most frequently victimized groups. Hate crimes not only victimize the individual, they have long-lasting impact on individuals, family, friends, and communities as a whole. As a service, we have taken steps to address this trend by increasing the capacity of our dedicated hate crimes unit and expanding our community outreach efforts to address community concerns directly. As we celebrate Asian Heritage Month, know that our service is committed to doing our part to build a city where all Torontonians feel safe and have an opportunity to thrive. Thank you. On behalf of our Community Partnerships and Engagement Unit, I welcome everyone to join us in celebrating Asian Heritage Month. Our Community Partnerships and Engagement Unit leads our Community Consultative Committees, which represent our Asian communities in Toronto. The month of May is a great time to commemorate all of the cultural traditions and contributions that Asian Canadians have made to help shape not only our communities, but our city and this country. We also want to celebrate the contributions of our Toronto Police members, both uniform and civilian. Asian communities have thrived in our city, but have also faced many challenges. One of these challenges has been the increase of hate-motivated incidents over the past few years. As a service, we are doing more to prevent and resolve incidents of hate towards all of our communities as we strive to keep Toronto the best and safest place to be. Please join us in celebrating and reflecting on the contributions and accomplishments of our Asian communities as we continue to build stronger and sustainable relationships together. Thank you.